Hello everyone, welcome to the video on pathophysiology of angina pectoris. Now let us understand angina pectoris is commonly known as chest pain. Angina means pressing or strangulating. Pectoris means this region is known as pectoral girdle where heart is there. So when the pain is from chest, it is known as chest pain. Technically it is called as angina pectoris. Now angina pectoris is a symptom of a disease called ischemic heart disease. So angina is just a symptom, the pain is just a symptom, but the underlying disease is ischemia. Now what do you mean by ischemia? Emia means blood, isk means reduced. So when there is a reduced blood supply to the heart, that is called as ischemic heart disease. So when blood circulation to the heart is reduced, you get a sharp pain that is called as angina pectoris. The pain radiated to left shoulder, left neck and left jaw. So this is called as angina pectoris. Now what happens is, the job of heart is to pump the blood to each and every part of the body. But heart also needs blood circulation because it is continuously contracting and relaxing. Now heart gets blood from coronary blood vessels. When there is a block in the coronary blood vessel, blood supply to the heart is reduced. That is what becomes ischemic heart disease. And when the disease is there, angina pain comes. Now what causes this angina pain is, see, heart always needs blood supply because blood is carrying oxygen. Oxygen will give ATP. Using that ATP, heart contractions occur. So there is always an increased demand of oxygen for heart. When this demand is met with oxygen supply, there is a balance. When oxygen demand is more than oxygen supply, that condition causes ischemia. Now, what are the factors that increases oxygen demand? Increase in heart rate, increase in contractility, increase in preload, increase in afterload. All of them will increase oxygen demand. Let us understand every word. Heart rate, when heart rate per minute 70 beats are there, if more beats are there, more energy is required, oxygen demand is increased. Contractility means force of contraction. If heart is contracting with force, lot of force, it requires lot of energy, oxygen demand increases. Preload, before contraction, the volume of blood that is present in the heart is known as preload. If the volume is more, heart needs to do lot of work, more oxygen is required. So increase in preload increases oxygen demand. After load, heart when contracts, blood goes to iota. So heart must exert certain amount of pressure to pump the blood into iota. If the pressure is more, oxygen demand will be more. The pressure is known as after load. If after load is increased, pressure demand is increased, oxygen demand increases. So these four factors increases oxygen demand. Now oxygen supply, how oxygen supply is met? Coronary blood vessels will supply blood to heart. When coronary blood flow is increased or regional myocardial blood flow is increased, blood supply to the heart is increased. So this is about angina pectoris pathophysiology. Thank you for watching this video. All the best.